the Muslim Association of New Brunswick was the first purpose-built, from the ground up, masjid in eastern Canada, including the Maritime Provinces and Newfoundland and Labrador. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi. Uh, you are? Abid Saeed Shaykh. And uh, where are we? We are right now in front of the Islamic Center or the Masjid of the Muslim Association of New Brunswick based in St. John, New Brunswick. Uh, the first masjid of its kind uh, built, constructed uh, by the community uh, in the Eastern Canaan Caribbean section. Uh, particularly, we are proud to say that uh, in the Atlantic provinces, this is uh, a first uh, of the trend set. You know, later on, St. John Newfoundland followed suit. They all had the similar kind of looking masjid as well, mashallah. Um, I understand it was built from the ground up uh, actually rather quickly. How? How did it took from the time we uh, started the foundation to the time the roof and everything else was set up and it was actually we started using it was six within six months and as I said earlier uh, it was it was a community project um, I wish I had the pictures to show you on our website South, the people, the oldies now, we were much younger. You can see the photos that we are putting, nails again, nailing the thing, the trusses and everything. Uh, the only thing that the people, that the qualified professional did was electrical, electrical and lump plumbing job. Everything else was done by the community at large. The volunteers, exactly, like yeah. a, a barn raising, exactly, yeah. uh, was a mustard raising. Correct, exactly, the yeah. trades came in and did the license, That's necessary right. license exactly. work, and uh, within six months, there were Jummas and Salah exactly, and, yeah. and, and here we are exactly, uh, yeah. <laughs> in Ramadan 2016. 2016 yeah.
It can hold about 350 people. Three, the 350 top people to bottom. Top to bottom. Yeah. There's a mezzanine for the ladies up on the top floor. You see those two windows up on the yes. top. Yes. That, that. These are the mezzanine windows. Very uh, good. Uh, and then now uh, we have uh, the the office on this side, right hand side. The window is for yes. the office. Um, that's of course the voodoo area for the men. And on the on the the top in the middle window is the wudu area for the sisters. Okay. And so I, the masjid extends over that side, you know, quite a few uh, feet over that that side. Very good. So it is a fairly sizable masjid. Um, I mean, only 15 families when it was built. It was built by only 15 families. Hard to digest this fact, but 15 families got together, put in the money, whatever they could afford, their resources, their uh, you know uh, uh, physical you know strength to get this masjid going. Cost us roughly about 120 thousand dollars at the time. Uh, probably will be a lot more now, you know. Uh, but we did well. Uh, we did not get any loans from anybody. We did not get any um, grants from any foreign go uh, governments including our Muslim governments from any place. We were given some offers, but um, there were some strings attached and we didn't want to get into that situation. You know, So it is a totally 100% community based and uh, supported event, I mean, uh, structure. And for expansion, because your community is growing as, right. as all communities yeah, do, yeah. you do have a little bit uh, space here for some yeah. parking yeah and how much of the property uh, is available for for that well all total the uh, Muslim community here owns about three and a half acres three and a half three acres and a half acres that's ours that is yeah that's right that is. and we got it at a very good price when we bought it in 19 uh, late 1970s uh, we had to let the land uh, be a little for a while so we got it about for 13 12, 12 to thirteen thousand dollars three and a half because it was a deal we couldn't refuse you know uh, but anyway um, so there is the as part of the future extension program we would like to extend the masjid in such a way that we have a hall a huge hall next to the parking lot you can see we are inshallah, already extending yes, the parking yes. lot inshallah so further up uh, beyond by just further up this way from the railway tracks we hope to have a huge so a hall, community hall, which will be used for weddings and other process, eat gatherings, whatever. And as part of this hall, there will be a small apartment, a complex, which will primarily be used by the imam. We are looking for an imam right now. Hopefully we can get one and he will stay with his family here so he can be right close to the masjid. If he doesn't want to stay here, the, the, the apartment will be given to Muslim uh, single people so they can we can generate some income to support them like a walk inshallah exactly yeah inshallah so that gives us a little bit of an idea right, uh, yeah. to complement uh, the words that will accompany this video uh, in an article Wonderful. so uh, brother again your name is Abid Saeed Sheikh Abid yeah. Saeed Sheikh yeah. and uh, you're one of the uh, original families of those 15 yeah that Uh, with the, with the others uh, yeah, brought a, brought this uh, masjid about Mashallah. for all Canadians Mashallah. and uh, especially the Muslims in New Brunswick and St. John in particular. particular yeah. So brother uh, Abid Sheikh, Abid Said, yeah. Abid Said Sheikh, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for Welcome, your hospitality brother. and Mashallah, with, brother. with 30 masjids yeah. visiting. Yeah, and uh, we'll uh, continue yeah, and have indeed. to come back. No, it is it is an it has been a pleasure to having around you around. Uh, the project that you have uh, embarked upon is a very noble project and we wish you the best and we make God and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you success in this project. Inshallah. Allah